Hey guys, it's John and today we're going to be sort of introducing a tutorial for the vending machine that I made and like I've said before, this vending machine is not the best, it's probably overly complicated and uh, pretty inefficient it, and uh, uses a lot of redstone wiring and stuff like that but I thought it was pretty cool anyway so uh, I thought I might as well just do a tutorial because it, it was quite heavily requested so yeah uh, this is well it's kind of finished I guess I could say it's finished it, there's only four slots in it just now uh, and this is the one that I built on my server but I'm currently playing it on a single player world and I don't have any spawn items or anything so well all the items I use I've got her is like from IMV Edit, but um, I don't have like Fly Mod or anything because I forgot, keep forgetting to download it. But anyway, um, this is the vending machine. It looks pretty complicated, but uh, in this video, or well, in this series of videos, I'm going to be showing you how it works and why it works, and that's what uh, that's why it's a series of videos because in this first video I'm going to be telling like telling you guys why and how uh, different components of the vending machine work like the redstone and gate and all the rest of it and then in the second video I'll show you guys how to build one whole slot I'll just show you that here and my yeah so one whole slot which is just like this bit and I'll also and in the third video I'll show you guys how to extend the vending machine by adding more slots and making it more making the room in which you use the vending machine more compact like this. So that's what we're going to be going over today and uh, I'll probably put at the start of the video a skip to part in it so I'll just skip to the start of the tutorial so that's what we're going to be doing in this video the initial ideas Okay, for the most important part of the vending machine, we'll be using an AND gate. Uh, AND gate looks like this, after a lag spike there, with redstone in the middle. And then we'll have redstone coming in here, and we would have two inputs here and here, or you could have them at the side, or like something like that. But when using an AND gate, it's kind of it's kind of self-explanatory in the name, but when we give it two power source a uh, power source from each side, I mean, like that, so that's power source on one side, and this redstone torch comes off, and this side this redstone torch comes off as well, and then this one activates. So if we take away the power source of one side, it deactivates, and we give it the power source, it activates. So essentially, it needs two inputs to make one output and that's what we're going to be using in the pr previous vending machine I put in on to my channel a long time ago basically what we had was an input into a ven into the vending machine it would go around and hit a, a minecart and it would come out here into an output then we would get our items then push it back in and it would reset but since the 1.6 update, mine, mine carts don't collide with each other, each other anymore like they used to. So in the 1.6 update, what we can do is use the AND gate instead of a uh, colliding minecart glitch. Which is, I guess would be a good thing because it doesn't, uh, doesn't rely on a glitch anymore. So, so yeah. So what we're going to do is flick the first switch, like that, and which is going to activate this redstone which will activate half of the AND gate here. And the AND gate leads up here to a booster track, which uh, once activated, once the booster track is activated, the minecart will come out and we can get our items. But that's only half of the AND gate. If we see here, this is from the lever at the start, the rest one also comes over here and changes this track, which would otherwise be facing this way, and the minecart would just roll past it if it wasn't activated. So when it is activated, it changes this track and it will go past this detector rail 
which is linked with redstone under the ground, which comes up here and activates the other half of the AND gate. So if we look up here, look at that minecart there, and we put a minecart on the detector rail, the minecart will come out. And this is the coin that would be, would be usually entered into the uh, vending machine. Now what we're going to go over is the minecart return system. So when we hit this button, the minecart will go down here and it will return to its previous position. Uh, but what you're going to probably be asking is how does that work? If we look at the redstone from the initial lever that we flicked, it comes up here as well. And it will activate this track, which otherwise would be facing the other way like that. So if it was facing the other way, the minecart would just come up here and keep moving on and moving on until it hits a track which was uh, changed. But this is the first track. So it will come up here and it will just return to where it was. And I'll show you the root of the minecart. It basically just goes underground and then come back, comes back up because that's just the easiest way of doing it. And that's what it's like for every single slot. So let's say we flicked another lever like this one. And we go back and look at the track again. You can see this red one is now off, which would mean this track is back to normal facing this way. But this track has changed since this is the lever that we flicked. So now what we're going to look at is the coin system. If we enter a coin and don't flick any of the levers, then the coin will just simply go into the vending machine and come back out where the storage minecart would usually come. And then we can just get our minecart back. But if we do flick a switch, for example I'm just going to flick the first one, and we put in our, ven our coin into our vending machine, our coin will go underground and it will come up here, into which it will just go into our storage room or something of that nature or something similar to that. And this is the same for every single slot. I'll show you the underground system that I've built for the coin return system or the coin storage system even. This is every single slot. It basically just comes down here and goes up to the storage. This is uh, at the moment it's overly complicated because I had a couple problems since the 1.6 update, which I won't go into because it will just confuse the video. And I have a hole in my roof. But <laughs> uh, that's about it for the explanation of the initial ideas for the vending machine. And I, there's a storm now. Ooh. Uh, please click on to the next video and I'll show you guys how to build the vending machine brick by brick basically, or block by block if you want to be 100% correct. <laughs>